Hello, hello, hello. Blessings. Welcome. First time, welcome. If you're back, welcome. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. So, my name is Kai, and my channel is all about God. Everything that God is, everything that he wants us to know about who he is, who Jesus is, and what living a Christian lifestyle in 2019 actually looks like. So, I have started a series, and the series is called, I'm Saved. Now what? And I titled it that because a lot of times when people get saved, it's like I'm saved and really now what? I don't I don't really know what to do at this point. So I started a series and if you haven't checked out episode one and two, make sure that you do that. They'll be linked somewhere in this similar like down there. Um, if not, just go back to the last few videos because they're kind of in order. I drop once a week um, of those that series. So we are talking about entertainment today, y'all, and I want to chat about it because it is a huge stumbling block for a lot of Christians. So I don't even know where I want to start, but I was going through my house. Um, I'm always revamping and throwing things away that no longer represent who I am now. So I came across a whole bunch of old DVDs and uh, CDs. So you may be so young watching this video that you don't know what a CD is, and that's okay. No judgment. I don't judge. But a CD, and I'm sure you've heard of them, um, CDs came out and they blew tape, cassette tapes out of the water. Like back in the day, we had a Walkman and we thought we were doing it. Then when we got a CD player, a portable CD player, you couldn't tell us nothing. We were like, girl, we got a CD player now. We can listen to our CDs. So I have a lot, a lot of CDs. And this is kind of funny because the first one that I pick up, it's the best of the classics. And it's like Beethoven, never listen to Beethoven. So don't know what that's about. But as you can see, I only picked up a little bit. This is not even a representation of what I actually have um, to get rid of. So I want to talk about entertainment. I want to talk about what, what should Christians be entertaining themselves with. Now, this is a, a huge topic, so I may split this into two simply because I try to keep my, my videos 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and this may be longer than that because entertainment is huge. So, let's get started. So, I do have a Bible verse that goes along with this, um, this topic about entertainment because I always want to start with what does God say because these videos aren't necessarily my opinion um, all the time. Sometimes it is and if it's my opinion, I'll tell you guys this is what I think, but I try to give you the word from the Bible and then put in um, real life examples for 2019. So the, and that is not the Bible verse. I be copying all kind of Bible verses down y'all. Um, I will I'll find it. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll be trying to find this Bible verse in the meantime. Okay, entertainment. So let's talk about what what I'm talking about when I mention entertainment. So we entertain ourselves with a lot of things. So this video per se is really talking about entertainment in the forms of visuals and audio. So the music that we listen to and also the type of uh, TV shows and uh, TV entertainment that we watch. So um, and I'm going to have to edit that out because I don't pause for longer than I wanted to, okay, about entertainment. And I could have just pulled my Bible up. What does the Bible say about entertain, entertainment? All right. We are back. <laughs> so, what kind of music should a Christian listen to? So, before we start, let's think about what non-Christian people listen to. I, before I was saved, I used to absolutely love all type of music. 
But in the later years of my life, which is hilarious, I fell in love with trap music. I mean, you couldn't stop me from listening to Future, Tory L I mean, just the whole gamut of uh, trap artists. And I loved it. I loved the music. I loved the hardness of it. I loved the roughness of the language. Um, I loved that it didn't have anything to do with emotions, per se. And at you know, a couple of years ago, I didn't really want to think about emotions. I didn't want, um, I didn't want emotional attachments to people. So trap music just really, really worked out. I loved to, I used to love past tense. I used to love to twerk. So trap music and twerking, they, they kind of go hand in hand. So that was the kind of music that I listened to pre being saved. I also used to listen to a lot of sexual music. Of course, I was having sex. So I listen to a lot of music that, I mean, you know, some of Tank stuff, I miss it dearly, but it was, it's too sexual for me to listen to now. So I say all that to say, with music, it is something that you are bringing into your spirit, period. And as a Christian, we really have to be careful as to how we allow the enemy to attack. Now, the enemy, you know, he comes to kill, steal, lie, and destroy. So what he does through the music, he is the musical um, genius. Okay, I am back. I had to get some water. And if y'all don't have a cookout where y'all live, I'm telling y'all, I went to Charlotte a couple of years ago. And that was my first time eating that cookout. This is random. And I fell in love with it because it's like really cookout food. And they finally brought um, one to Georgia, actually like three or four. And they're doing really, really well. So back on topic because I, I ramble sometimes. Um, so back on topic. So the devil who is the enemy, uh, he controls the airwaves per se. And the airwaves are music, television, anything that is, you know, cell phones, all of that um, is kind of his domain. So what he does is he puts together these beautiful tunes. I don't know why I said tunes. That sounds like real old, but he puts together these beautiful melodies and even trap music. I mean, the melodies of the music sometimes used to be lit. So he puts it together in a package that you're like, I mean, it's not going to hurt me. How could it hurt me if I'm just listening to it? I am not here to tell anybody what to do or what not to do. I can only express to you the damage, the possibility of damage from doing certain things and listening to certain things. So, for an example, I am going to pull up and let's be clear, I used to rock with Cardi B. Now, I wasn't a Cardi stand by, by a Cardi stand by any means. But after I started finding out about her story and started listening to her music more and more and more because they were just cramming it in our faces on the uh, airways, I started to really like her and follow her success story and, and everything about her um, because I felt like she was an underdog coming up and she was just being her best self. I know better now, but let's just pull up a, a, a Cardi song and look at the lyrics. Let's just say the lyrics instead of like in our car twerking and singing the lyrics. I left, oh, okay, I don't know how I'm going to do this because it's got a lot of curse words. Um, I left a ninja on Reed because I felt like it. Dress me down in that raft, St. Laurent jacket. Dapper, dapper, I look fine and my check's divine. No wonder, wonder why I do whatever I like. And then I guess the chorus is, I do what I like, I do, I do, I do. I don't know, I've never heard the song. Um, second verse. She has, y'all, Lord, forgive her for using your name in this verse. I think us bad bees, and you know bees, is a gift from God, gift from God. I think you broke hoes need to get a job, get a job. Like she has to repeat these, these, okay, get a job. Now I'm a boss, I write my own name on the checks, Cardi. Private parts, so good. I say my own name during intercourse. I might smack a bee because I felt like it. Gucci shoes and a belt like it. Said that Cardi is his favorite fragrance. I'm a rich bee and I smell like it. Okay, that's that's enough. I mean, <laughs> that was two verses right there. Now, 
<sighs> when you hear that just spoken without the beat of whatever that song is, does that sound like something that a Christian should be listening to? Why would you be listening to music or why would we, you know, I include myself when I, when I have these conversations with y'all, but by the grace of God, I have tackled and been delivered from a lot of these things. So I say we, sometimes I'll say I, but it's not judgment at all. It's me just telling you that God has allowed for me to overcome the things that were holding me um, in this world and holding me back from building a relationship with him. So my goal is to just share it with you and maybe maybe hopefully prayerfully change something within you that you realize that that's not where it's at that's twerking is not where it's at so music you can listen to whatever you want to but understand that there are messages in the music i don't know if y'all remember but a whole lot of years ago there were rumors going around that there if you played rock music backwards it was a demonic message now, I never tried it because I've always been terrified of good and evil and I didn't want to step that far into evil to hear what what the enemy had to say to me in his language. No, not no, not here for that. But the message was in the music. The message is still in the music. Even if you listen to positive music, the message is positive. If you listen to, you know, music that has no motivation, no inspiration, no good message, no God message, no uh, humankind, just a message for people to just be better, what it's, it's not doing anything for you, your spirit at all. So that is the music aspect of um, I'm saved now what? What do I do about my musical taste? So my suggestion would be to change your musical taste. I, I've always liked a lot of music and, excuse me, for me, ooh, excuse me, for me, when I switched to gospel music, it was an easy switch because I found music that I was like, oh, I love this. This lets me show God how I love him, but I get to jam out as well. I get hype. So funny story. I, when I'm in my car, I mean, I listen to gospel music all day in the car, in the house, and I jam, you know, I dab and all of that for God. Um, but I was in the car one day and I was jamming. I mean, I was listening to, I don't know what I was listening to, but I was in there getting it. Hey, hey, thank you, Lord. Hey, like that's how, that's how I praise my father. And a couple of days, maybe two days later, I got a text message and it was from my ex and he said, yo, I, you didn't see me the other day on East West? And I was like, nah. He said, I saw you and you were in the car getting it. And I was like, LOL, yeah, I was listening to gospel music. He was like, man, really, 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 really though? And I was like, yeah, that's all I listen to at this point. And I mean, I, I, I get to it and I get hyped for God. And he was like, oh, well, that's good. Everybody's not going to understand your journey and everybody's not going to understand that you can put on a gospel music and praise God and I was getting ready to say twerk around your house. Lord, forgive me because that's not what I, that's not what I did. You can put on gospel music and dance around your house and have a good time. You can do the clean dances that are out now, but there's no reason for a Christian to be twerking. Twerking is a sexual dance. Let's just be clear. When you twerk, let me rewind. Let me talk about myself. When I was trying to learn how to twerk, it was a sexual dance. I wanted to get my butt to pop and go side to side and up and down so that if I go out or if I had a dude at the house, you know, I could show him my twerking skills. Come on. Like, we're not going to pretend that that's not what twerking is. It's sexual. Um, and now it's like a, um, it's a goal for most women to become a twerktastic member of society. There's no twerking competition. There's no, um... There's no award for being the best twerker. So, I mean, what are we really doing? So, that's what I have to say about music. I don't only listen to gospel music. I listen to gospel music 98% of the time. If I want some R&B of some sort, I will um, go old school, which is like um, Anita Baker, Patti LaBelle, Otis Redding, which are artists that I've always loved. So, it's not like I'm like, you know what, I'm going to start listening to old people music. No, these are classics. So 
I feel like listening to music that is just clean. That is, that's the message, y'all, with the music. Because like I said, this video, I don't even know how long I've been recording. But let the music be clean and let the message be clean. You know, if you're listening, I don't know what's on the radio now because I haven't listened to the radio, uh, like the, the trap station, um, in almost nine, ten months now. So I don't, I don't know what's popping. I don't know what's hot. But if it's clean and the message is clean, it doesn't have to be about God. It can be about love. But if they're talking about, um, like the, that's, this is an old song, but, uh, um, nine to five weekend. I'm your weekend. And then she's your nine to five. I'm the, like, it's talking about adultery. So should I be as a Christian walking around like, yes, I'm his weekend. You his nine to five, but together we a good threesome. No, that, that, that doesn't seem Christ like to me at all. So you just want to be careful and you want to pray. Anything that I mention in these videos that you are struggling with, make sure you leave a comment down below because I want to make this a community. I want to make it a conversation because when I'm talking to you guys through the camera, I can't see you for one. And if you have a, a thought or a comment, I can't hear it either. <laughs> so if you leave it in the comments below, we can start communicating and I can, you know, explain or answer or just be in fellowship with y'all because that really is the goal to build a community around this channel. So as long as it's clean, if you're struggling with anything, anything when it comes to entertainment, pray because God will deliver you. I mean, I had asked two stories. I have Alexa and I, you know, oftentimes like Alexa, play gospel music. I was in the other room the other day and she was in another room and I said, Alexa, play gospel music. Why did this chick play future? <laughs> Why did she play future? I mean, and it came on and I was in the other room and I'm like, nah, she did, she's not playing future. And the beat came on, don't know what song it is. It's not one that I used to know. And I'm like, no, the devil is a lie. We're not getting ready to do that. So I got up and I went and was like, Alexa, Alexa, turn the music off. And she turned it off. But that was just weird. Um, another situation when it comes to entertainment and music. My homegirl came over the other night and I may have her come and do one of these um I'm saved now what series with me and we were talking about God and watching different things on YouTube gospel artists that we like and performances and I had saw a behind the scenes video of a dude making a rap song and the name of the song was I am number seven I don't know the name of the dude but I really like the beat of the song so we're talking and I'm showing her all these new gospel songs that I done came upon and she was like I love those. And I said, oh, I said, okay, so we've been on our, we've been on our Christian, you know, all night. I said, let me show you a song that I like. I said, but I don't know what the song is about. I just heard the beat and a couple of words and, and I liked it. I said, so we'll play it. I said, but we already know if it's not clean, we will instantly stop playing it. Y'all, when I tell you, oh, let me get some water. And when I tell you, <laughs> Turned the song on, found the song on YouTube, and was real excited. I was like, oh, there it is, there it is. Push play. Song come on, the beat come on. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. Within three verses, he was like, yeah, something, something, something. I'm a, I'm a, 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 a devil, a devil follower. Something real out the blue. Yo, I turned it, I paused it and turned it off so fast and I looked at her and we just started rolling. We were like, in Jesus' name, we will not be doing that. What is that? That is a weird number. How do you get a V1311? Hello? I'm good. I'm not interested. But thank you for the call. And then he hung up on me. See, you be kind because you're supposed to be kind. Period. American Home Security. Dude, I don't, I didn't ask for the call. So thank you for calling, but I'm not interested. I could have just hung up, but I didn't because I'm living a Christ-like life. Ugh. Okay, so we fell out laughing. We were just like, in Jesus' name, no ma'am. No ma'am. We can't, you, you have to... You have to have some level of, I'm out. 
You know, like if you're gambling, and I don't know why I'm using gambling as an example, but if you're gambling and you done put a whole lot of money on the table, you have to, and you done lost, 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 lost. You have to realize when to pull out. You got to. You gotta, you gotta come out of that game. So that's exactly what we did. So those are just two stories on um, musical choice. If you have any questions about that aspect of it, um, just let me know. Leave it in the comments. I think this segment has been over ten to fifteen minutes because I just be talking, y'all. I just be talking, and I also found a Bible verse on entertainment because we always want to. Make sure that we are going from God's word and not just what I think. So Philippians 4, 8, and I'll put this on the screen somewhere. Philippians 4, 8 says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable. If there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. You know, that's about your entertainment. Um, uh, that's about money we'll talk about that as well one of these days so I'll put oh here's one Ephesians 5.11 take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness but instead expose them you have to be careful so I think I'm going to end on that note and you know you guys I show my bible in every video so there is the living word of God, the best book in the world. Um, so, as I said, um, I'm going to do a part two on this. And part two will be about the shows that we watch. Um, because that's a whole nother 10 or 15 minute conversation. So, I hope that you got something from this. I hope that I have been a blessing to you. Because by you watching, you are a blessing to me. I love knowing that I can make these videos and be as transparent and raw and show the love of God to the world. And not feel any type of way about it. And have people that can appreciate it, that rock with God. And in turn, you rock with me. We, we, we family. So, as usual, I will go ahead and pray, and we will end this video, and I'll see you guys back. Um, I may film the next segment in the same chair on the same day. Really don't know, but I'll probably knock both of them out today and then post them. So, all heads bowed and all minds cleared. All right. Lord, we come to you in this moment, and we are just so joyful and thankful for what you have done in our lives for the majority of us father we woke up with shelter and that's because we have your grace and mercy for most of us we woke up with working utilities we had heat to be able to be uh, warm we had food in the refrigerator we have a car parked outside we have a job to go to or money to make and lord we just thank you for all of those blessings without you I say it again, Father, without you, we we are nothing. And because of you, we are everything and we are victorious. Father, we know through you, anything is possible. And that includes changing our desires for the things that are not like you and that are of the enemy. If we're for you, we're for you. And we have to let things that are in this world that, that we enjoy, we have to let it go. And I know... And we know that it is a process. Sometimes you perform miracles and desires leave overnight and to you be the glory for that. But sometimes it does take some time, but our flesh has got to be in agreement, Lord. So in this moment, I pray that anybody watching this video, if they need to hear a word from you, please show up and show out and throw your weight around in their lives, Lord. There's people that are hurting that need to hear from you and know that you are real. We as Christians, we know that there is going to come a time when the door is going to be closed. But right now, Father, it's an open door policy. We can come to you for anything and there is still time for us to be saved and not have to perish and go to hell. So we ask that anybody that hears my voice, that they hear the God in me and see my little light shine and that they reach out to you. And if they don't reach out to you, I pray that you soften their hearts so that the reaching out that you've been doing their entire lives, that they can hear it loud and clear and become a, a saint and a worshiper of you and a follower of Jesus, and they spread the good news of the good gospel. Father, I thank you for bringing me and my viewers and subscribers together in your name, and I pray 
I pray for the nation. I pray for the government. I pray that Trump gets it right or gets out of office. I pray for all of the people that are in uniform that are protecting us, whether that is the military, whether that is the EMT, the police officers. I pray for all of them. And more than anything, Father, I pray for those that don't know you because those are the people that I'm trying to reach. I want a community around this channel, Father, and I want it to be a community of people that are on the fence that we can go ahead and pull over the fence for you and to the people that have already found you so that they can help me build this community all these blessings i ask in your son jesus' strong name father we love you we honor you we will forever worship and follow you amen 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 so good people be good be safe be blessed be in god stay in god and uh surround yourself with people that that get it yeah, definitely surround yourself with people that get it. I love y'all in Jesus' name.